the gospel of Jesus Christ off the cuff. The Lord is my shepherd. It has been said that you can't really explain something that you haven't been through. I heard the preacher say, I know what picking cotton is. We was picking cotton before we was picking the president. Folks that live on the farm will tell you, I know what a mule is. You can tell them hi and G. He'll go left or right. But Brother Carl can tell you that by the grace of God, I don't know nothing about none of that. But I can testify before many witnesses that I know what a shepherd is. Hallelujah. How do you know, Brother Carl? Because the Lord Jesus Christ is my shepherd. John 10 11. See, Brother Carl can't even get money with a vacuum cleaner. There was a time, even recently, when Brother Carl couldn't even get a job at gunpoint. Mm -hmm. So I can tell you the truth that just in the carnal things of this present world, if the Lord, hallelujah, if the Lord wasn't my shepherd, I would have starved a long time ago. But because the Lord is my shepherd, I can testify right now today Day that I don't need nothing and that I don't want nothing. Everything I got, hallelujah, I got it from the Lord. Hey, glory. He making me to lie down in green pastures. See, that ain't nothing but Jesus Christ, the good shepherd who knows his sheep and his sheep Know him, mm -hmm. John 10, 14. That's the seal of the Holy Ghost. Because the Bible says, many shall say to me, Lord, Lord, have I not prophesied in thy name? Have I not cast out devils in thy name? Have I, have I, have I, have I? Not done many wonderful works in thy name. You know, the hospital is in Christ's name, and the soup kitchen is in thy name, and the outreach and the overreach, the mini series ministries. Now, the mini series and ministries might not be in your name, Lord, but everything else is. But the shepherd will say to them that ain't regenerated, that ain't been down. In Jesus Christ's name. They ain't been baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire. Speaking with new tongues. The shepherd will say, I never knew you. It breaks the heart. It literally breaks the heart. But my shepherd, that gave me his name in water baptism. Jesus Christ, my shepherd, who sealed me with the Holy Ghost and gave me a new language, a new tongue, a new walk, a new talk, making me a new creature, says to me and the chosen few, my sheep, hallelujah, Jesus, my, 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 my sheep, hear my voice. And I know them. Jesus Christ knows me. Hallelujah. And calls me and my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Mine. They mine. Yeah, mine. They mine. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because Jesus Christ, not the assemblies organization, not the Protestant denominations, not the religious congregations, but the Lord Jesus Christ, the good shepherd says, I know him and he follows me. Hallelujah, Jesus. He don't follow TV preachers, city preachers, popular preachers, 
or their teachers for doctors the commandments of man. Matthew 15, nine. No, 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 no. Jesus Christ knows, Brother Carr. Uh-huh, hallelujah. <laughs> and went and got Brother Carr. Yeah, he did. And said, I know you, brother. Now follow me. <laughs> and I do. Thank you, Jesus Christ. See, Brother Carl knows the difference. Brother Carl didn't always know Jesus Christ. I should have. I've been in church all my life. I was in my mama belly in church. Going everywhere my daddy played the organ. Everywhere the preacher. I heard more preaching than most people laugh. I heard preaching because we went to church every day. Go to school, nighttime we found daddy. There's a revival, there's a church meeting, there's an appreciation, there's a council, there's something. Daddy playing and we gonna be right there with him. So I ain't heard preaching. So I should have known Jesus. But I didn't know Jesus Christ. I just heard about him. But one day, one day, one day, one day, hallelujah, on July 15th, 2012, God gave me a testimony like the one written in the 18th book of the Bible in the 42nd chapter and 5th and 6th verse. They call him Brother Job. And he said, like I can testify, which happened to me, I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear. But now my eye seeth thee. Wherefore I abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. Now, thanks be to God, I repented and told the Lord myself. Nobody else. Wasn't no coaching, wasn't no coercing, wasn't no altar worker, wasn't nobody but me. And Jesus Christ, when I told the Lord, recorded in heaven and earth, I don't want to be bad no more. No more, Lord. I don't want to be bad no more. As the scriptures say in Jeremiah 24, 2, one basket had very good figs, even like the figs that are first ripe. And the other basket had very naughty figs, which could not be eaten. They were so bad. Brother Carl was a bad fig. A very naughty fig. Brother Carl has no fruit in the things that I did, which I am now ashamed of. Who God turned my glory into the naughty things of the world that I did into shame. I was caught up in desolate places. Habitations of devils. That's right. I'm telling. I'm telling it all so that somebody will come out of them dry bone devil spots in the world surrounded by the gates of hell with neon lights, loud worldly music, half-dressed folks. All that glitters ain't nowhere near go. Carl, the disobedient child, was in the wilderness of sin. It's a wonder, Lord have mercy, that in those dens of devils, that I just wasn't walking and just caught on fire and went right down to the pit like Korah and Dothan did when they was in the wilderness. Numbers 16, 32. But then the shepherd came. See, I was too dumb and ignorant to run to God. Too dumb and ignorant to run to the Lord Jesus Christ. But the shepherd came with dyed garments from Basra. This, that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. The Lord that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Just like the writer from the author, the Holy Ghost says in Luke 19.10, 10, 
For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Brother Carl was lost and on my way to hell and didn't even know it. Sadly, shamefully, stupidly, not thinking about Jesus Christ or nothing he had to do with. Lord have mercy. But my shepherd, hallelujah, came and found me in a car on the west side of Detroit in a park cruising on Spinoza. My shepherd, who demonstrated an action as though he was telling me like the scriptures say in Deuteronomy 2, 3, you have come past this mountain long enough. Turn, 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 turn. You're going in the wrong direction. Down to the pit of hell. Turn northward to heaven. Glory to God. You've been in sin, rebellion, lust, and disobedience long enough. But I come that you might have life. Precious, 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 precious life. And that more abundantly. John 10, 10. The world ain't got nothing going on. And you about to go to hell following these dogs that can't get in the new Jerusalem, in the new heaven, on the new earth. Revelation 22, 15. What you out here doing hanging with these whoremongers folk? Hanging with these murderers, idolatrous, in the city of liars folk. So do you know what the shepherd did for me? Hallelujah. He made me to lie down in green pastures. You see, I was in a park called Ruse, and there was green pastures there. But Jesus, my shepherd, said to me, I got greener pastures for you, brother Carl. Lie down in them. Lay your burden of sin down and get rid of it. The roots got a river, but the Lord got a river of living waters. Psalms 1 and 3. And the Lord led me by the still waters. Way better than that. Of the Rouge River on the west side of Fort Pontchartrain. train. As I continue crying out to the Lord, who is my shepherd, a lost sheep that can't find his way, caught up in the terror of damnation and the arrows of perdition that fly by day, compassing all around me, crying out because I know I'm lost and on my way to the lowest hell. Psalms 86, 13. Y'all wasn't there, so I got to tell ya. But then, my shepherd, my shepherd, heard my cry out of his holy hill, and the glory and the lifter of my head, Psalms 3 and 3, had pity on me had mercy on me and filled me with the Holy Ghost speaking with new tongues from heaven as the third verse of the 23rd Psalm says he restoreth my soul hallelujah my soul is restored in Jesus Christ because he gave me a new heart and on a street called Sawyer on the west side of a French town under English control called Detroit. He led me into the paths of righteousness, not just for his servant District Elder Clinton's sake, not just for his servant Mother Gladys' sake, not just for his servants Donald and Jones' sake, but for his own name's sake, Jesus Christ, he gave me 
the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus Christ. But it didn't take me out of the world, no. But in fulfilling the Holy Scriptures of his own prayers, being the good shepherd, he said, not that thou take him out of the world, but that thou keep him from the evil. For brother Carl ain't of the world no more. Hey, just like my shepherd is not of the world. John 17, 15 and 16. Because the world is the valley of the shadow of death. Yet, because I got the Lord, who is my shepherd, I shall fear no evil. Thy rod, which is serving the Lord, Revelation 12, 5, and thy staff, which I lean on, which is worshiping the Lord, Hebrews 11, 21, they comfort me as one whom his mother comforts, Isaiah 66, 13, my shepherd prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He don't even set the table up until my enemies show up. Ha, hey, glory to God. And once they peep their head out of their hole, that's when my shepherd prepares a full banquet table right in front of them and lets them know you ain't invited because then he anoints me, hallelujah, anointing my head with oil right in front of the devil. Hallelujah. The devil be mad saying, who is this? Who is this? He ain't nobody. He's supposed to be dead. He flipped over in a car at 100 miles per hour and broke his neck in two spots. Who is this? Why you ain't just let him die? The devil know when I didn't know. Hallelujah. The devil knew that God had me here for a reason. Because the day was coming that God in his gracious and loving mercy would make this ignorant and unlearned roughneck his anointed. So he told the devil, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Psalms 104, 15. Let it all of creation know that this one here is mine. Mine, mine, mine. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Even the angels see that the Holy Ghost was sent down from heaven on this boy to preach the gospel, which things they desire to look into. First Peter 1 Peter 1.12 How does this ignorant and unlearned man know all these letters having never stepped foot in the theological institution? How does this man, hallelujah, know that the devil is using the Vatican to poison all these books that they say is a Bible? How? Does this man know that the devils have deceived apostles, bishops, elders, and teachers to think that these revised Bibles don't change no doctrine? Deceive them to think that taking out thee, thou, herein, and thus don't make the contract null and void. How? Do he know that the authorized holy Bible is a legal binding contract in heaven and earth and you don't change a single D, thou, betwixt, yea, nay, or jot and tittle of nothing in that book or your soul will be taken out of the book of life. How does he know this? Because my shepherd has anointed me who lives in me, who is what I move with and how I have my being in, not in Carl no more, but in Christ Jesus our Lord. Acts 17, 28, because the anointed which I have received of him 
abides in me. That's why by the grace of God, I don't need no man to teach me, but it's the anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ, my shepherd, that teaches me all things. Hallelujah. That is truth and is no lie. Even as it has taught me, it will abide in me. Second John 2.27 And if anybody got any doubts, you can go to the contract covenant of God in the authorized Holy Bible and put your own finger on everything. The Holy Ghost got me saying, Luke 12 and 12, and to those truly ignorant and unlearned in the ways of the Lord Jesus Christ. Folks do talk like that. They do talk like that today. They do use thee and thou every day in the courts of law and in every contract they got in the English speaking contrast. Now run and tell that. The world got more sense than folks that profess that they know God, Titus 1.16, because the world don't take a single jot or tittle of hints, thus, yea, nay, thou, thee, herein, betwixt, or none of those words out of any of their legally binding contracts. And they even make you put your hand on the authorized holy Bible in the court of law. But folks who's supposed to be watching over your soul to give an account for you and your soul on judgment day take words out of God's covenant contract and tell you nobody talks like that anymore. Lord have mercy. When all the judges and lawyers are talking like that in the contract that determine every aspect of the law and the legal upholding of the law in Western civilization every day. Lord have mercy. Somebody going to hell. Y'all better hurry up and repent. Talking about King James only. If you knew what I knew by the Holy Ghost, Anybody that's speaking English in Western civilization would be a King James only if you want to go to heaven. Now run tell that too. Hallelujah. But surely, 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 goodness and her sister mercy shall follow me in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of my life. Luke 175, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever because my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. My home is the house of prayer. My property is the house of God. Churches every day, every place I put the sole of my feet, I preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. My mouth don't curse no more, but blessings proceed out of my mouth because whatsoever I do in word or in deed, I do, I do, I do, I do, hallelujah, in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to my shepherd and the father by him, Colossians 3.17. Some folks know the 23rd Psalms, but my question to you is this. Do you know the shepherd? Hey, glory to God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. <laughs>